Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Words, Images, and Worlds. Delighted to be talking with, it says, Mad Cave Studios. So uh, this, is, this is a person who works at Mad Cave, talking about all things comics today, all things Mad Cave. And this person talking with me happens to be Mark Irwin. Mark, thank you for jumping on and talking with me for a few minutes. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it, Jason. It is absolutely my pleasure. Thank you for saying yes. I am loving your shelfie, the bookshelf behind you, and I see Blackest Night there, which reminds me to say you you are quite an accomplished comics creator in and of yourself. You've uh, written and done things for uh, a number of properties that people would know about, people would recognize for both Marvel and DC. So anything that you want to say about that before we shift and talk uh, some Mad Cave stuff? Uh, no, I mean, I, I was an inker uh, for about 30 years for Marvel, DC, and Dark Horse, and I mean, a bunch of, you know, uh, pretty much everybody at some point or another, mm -hmm. um, you know, and just over time, um, worked at various companies learning different skill sets, so project management or editorial direction, things like that, um, just learning the basics of how books are truly published and um over time kind of started moving away slowly from inking um yeah. so that i wasn't working 22 hours a day um and uh yeah now i'm on the uh, the business side of things so um it's been a it's been a interesting transition it's certainly exciting for me because it's sort of a an exciting new career path um but yeah it's been uh it's been a, a great ride so far, and I don't plan to get off anytime soon. So wonderful, wonderful. The the world of comics and creating and storytelling. I love it. Um, and so Mad Cave, we, we could talk a little bit about what Mad Cave is. And I'll say that my introduction to Mad Cave really sort of came in a way by accident. I'm a net galley reviewer, a teacher, comics reader. I, I try to read widely. And I was reading Mad Cave titles before I, I really knew exactly what I was doing. Um, and then I noticed, oh, th this is this publisher. And then I started picking up on social media, uh, links to Mad Cave and, and things like that. So, so what exactly is a Mad Cave and why should readers know about Mad Cave? Um, so Mad Cave is a company that was started in 2014. Um, the founder of the company uh, was a guy who wanted to publish his own comics. Um, he had ideas. He had um, really interesting ideas, things that he wanted to put down on paper and turn into worlds that he created. Um, so Mad Cave started as a vehicle for that. Um, over time, he had so many ideas that he couldn't do them all, and uh, we started hiring uh, other people to sort of make those ideas happen. And um, when I joined the company in 20, uh, let's see here, 2021, um, we kind of started opening the door because of my previous experience uh, in the industry. We started opening the door to things like greater owned um projects and mm -hmm. licensing um just with the idea toward growth uh for a company we did things like making the jump to simon and schuster for distribution mm -hmm. um we bought the uh middle grade publisher paper cuts um mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. added that to the two imprints that we already had which are mad cave and maverick uh our ya imprint um with the goal toward really becoming, rather than just calling ourselves a comics publisher, calling ourselves a publisher. Mm -hmm. um, you know, somebody that offers um, various, you know, graphic storytelling content for a wide audience. Um, we want to make everybody happy with the type of material that we publish. Um, so that's sort of our goal. Love it, love it. I have spent some time looking through the website. I was familiar with Paper Cuts, um, prior to the the purchase by Mag Cave, and so I've been reading Paper Cuts for uh, a few years now, and excited to see that it's part of the part of the unfolding business as well. Um, and I would just say to anybody out there that has kind of seen the things that are done in comics and, and seen the titles and 
Uh, if you're like me and you've read, you know, at this point, hundreds of the same kind of thing, check out Mad Cave because there, there's a whole array. I was impressed with the, just the page full. There, there's a single page that I'll link as well as the the overall page. But uh, all of the titles that Mad Cave is currently publishing, plus the things that are published under Maverick, plus the things that are published under Paper Cut. So there's a lot there to explore and excited to feature creators and, and have them come on to talk about the projects. I'll mention, <clears throat> and apologies to anybody if I mispronounce anybody's name, but I'll mention uh, David Hazan. And if I mispronounce it, just feel free to to jump in and correct me. Uh, Mark London also being someone who creates and is part of the company. Uh, Nadia Shamans and Olivia Stevens. I was reading Olivia Stevens uh, and reading The Tiger's Tongue before I realized it was a, a mad cave. Uh, oh, work. wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so lots, so much there to explore. And uh, there's also a place to sign up for the street team, which I, I put my name in for. I hope somebody out there at the office looks at that and goes, hey, this this guy should do something on the street for us. <laughs> uh, but they'll, they'll probably look at it and be like, who is this? Delete, delete. But uh, not that's... at all. We don't do that at all. We're, <laughs> we're, we're actually uh, shockingly, um, shockingly responsive to pitches to uh, people applying for the street team, all of those things were, we, we try to, how do I say this? Um, we try to separate ourselves mm -hmm. by being less jaded, if, yeah. if that's the right way to look at it. Um, less jaded and more open to all possibilities and to everybody who wants to make contact with us because um a it's uh you know that's that's a good that's a good customer service model anyway mm -hmm. but b because um that's the only way to really grow right yeah. you have to you have to stay open you have to you have to want to interact with people um and that's that's a, a big a big part of our entire overall process and how we work love that i love that and i love the the friendliness to fans and readers and you also mentioned creator owned which is just so huge because uh you know we we have this history of comics that don't treat creators well and it's always exciting to hear about a publisher that's committed to doing that so very exciting yeah our, our creator owned deal we we like to think at least is um very very unique uh in in the atmosphere out there um for creators um we feel like we're not only really transparent in the deal but also very um creator forward um mm -hmm. you know i'm i'm a creator um mark london who you mentioned earlier is our owner and uh he you know, obviously started the company to be a creator um we care about creators we want creators to think of us as the publishing arm they wish they had that they never had you know um we market uh incredibly well frankly i think our marketing team is second to none um and we just care about the creators we want creators to be happy we want them to feel like oh my gosh these guys are like giving me everything mm -hmm. and you know i have nothing to worry about other than making my creation be the best thing it can possibly be um and so far it feels like the creators that have worked with us uh feel the same way so love it love it and um is it okay if i say that adam wellent uh, currently works for you it's on the website so i'm, I'm hoping yeah, that's okay. absolutely yeah <laughs> totally I, I, okay <laughs> awesome i talked with uh adam on a previous episode of the show and i've also talked with olivia stevens and both of them mentioned this really really rewarding place to be in as someone who's been in comics who can then reach out and invite others to shine a light on other people to to join projects to engage in work and that kind of idea of like curating people around you that also want to be part of what you're doing which is it's a really nice kind of pay it forward and and again uh we live in this time of um you know creators not getting their due so it's wonderful to sort of restory that and give space to creators and new voices so i i love it i'm excited about the work you're doing Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a small industry. Um, and we all tend to know each other or run into each other at different shows and all of that sort of thing. And um, 
word spreads fast um, when a publisher mm -hmm. doesn't do right by creators. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I think most creators can tell you, um, I, I know I certainly have my stories, um, you know, creators can tell you horror stories of how they were treated, um, how they were the, the lowest rung on the ladder, um, despite it being their creation. Mm -hmm. um, and we just really endeavor to not operate in that manner at all. Um, it, it's super important to me. Um, you know, I've built a reputation for 30 plus years in this industry of treating people the right way and trying to do right by people. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I think we all feel exactly the same way. Like let's be creator forward, but um, because their success leads to our success. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. Um, I mentioned a couple of names and I said, uh, as I said, I have Kelly Williams coming on tomorrow. Any titles, any uh, projects that are currently at the forefront that you want to mention? Again, you have a lot. So this could be an entire <laughs> part of the, the episode, but, but looking forward to sharing more about uh, individual creators as well. But anything that bubbles to the surface as far as uh, upcoming titles, I know there's Tales from Nottingham, Don't Spit in the Wind, a couple of those. Right. Well, we have books like uh, Under the Influence, um, mm -hmm. which is a really great um, sort of uh, <laughs> a diatribe on uh, social media and all that sort of thing. Um, Elliot Ray Hall, like, totally brought it with that book. And Elliot, I apologize if I pronounced your last name incorrectly um you know exorcist never die uh steve orlando is a creator that is doing quite a bit with mad cave at this time um we're super excited about that um we have a, a book uh coming called eden frost which we just announced uh i think last week um amit tischler is the creator of that and amit is somebody who i've actually known for quite a while um, as somebody from the video game space. And uh -huh. uh, so he worked in video games, but he's also worked in animation. And um, he's been a key player in quite a, a large number of big animated shows and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but he also develops and creates his own comics. And um, that that story is, uh, is really... Um, it's really timely. I'll just say that. I would mm. say that a lot of a lot of our books right now, um, from "Don't Spit in the Wind," um, you know, which uh, is a great environmental impact book, mm -hmm. to "Under the Influence" um, in our time of social media, to "You've Been Canceled," which mm -hmm. um, you know really <laughs> is is an incredibly. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say balls to the wall on this, but um, yes, you can. You absolutely <laughs> okay. can. <laughs> it, it's a it's a it's a very fun book. Um, but again, you know, talking about cancel culture, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. You know, Hunt, Kill, Repeat uh, by Mark London, which is uh, basically Kill Bill meets the uh, you know Greek pantheon of gods. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and is fantastic. Um, you know, I, I like to think that we have a lot of great books. Um, and that's just, you know, sort of under the Mad Cave umbrella. Um, but we have great books coming out from Maverick. Um, you know, our book, uh, our upcoming title, Paper Planes, uh, from Maverick, incredibly well-reviewed. Um, you know, Maverick sort of concentrates in that coming of age, um, you know, diversity forward, um, you know, it, it's we concentrate in that space for Maverick and Paper Planes is just you know Chef's Kiss. It's like a perfect book. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know with Paper Cuts, Paper Cuts continuously is doing not only the books that they're known for, things like Asterix and the Smurfs and Geronimo Stilton and The Loud House, um, but there's new titles coming in through that uh, I, uh, through that imprint as well. Um, you know, just this past week, we announced that we acquired the rights to Gotcha Man, um, mm -hmm. and we have an insane publishing plan behind Gotcha Man, which nice. I can't really talk to, but I'm very excited <laughs> by. Um, you know, we also acquired the rights to Flash Gordon, um, and we'll be doing new, incredible content with with Flash Gordon, including a paper cuts title. Um, awesome. Awesome. You know, awesome. as well as as well as talking to all of the incredible past 
flash forward and work. Um, you know, I went I went to the Kubert school and uh, every day I would walk into those halls and right in the hallway, there was an original Alex Raymond uh, flash mm-hmm. Gordon page framed on the wall. I mean, an original thing. <laughs> I stared at that thing every single day for the three years that I went to that school. And, um, you know, Alex Raymond, I mean, what, what more can you say? You know, yeah. you know oh, one yeah. of the greatest of all time. So, um, you know, we're very excited by these things. Um, you know, we, we've announced a number of licenses recently. Um, you know, Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders. Um, uh, you know, Miraculous Ladybug. Um, you know, there's a number of different things happening at Mad Cave right now. And mm-hmm. all of it's very exciting for us and for our growth. And um, there's more to come. So um, there, there's a lot of things that are in the works right now. Um, and I, I, we're very excited to be a unique kind of publisher in the graphic storytelling space. Awesome, awesome. And even as you're you're mentioning titles, I'm thinking like, oh, and there's Monomyth. There are all of these, all of these titles, all of these stories, too many to mention. Um, so yeah. I hope hope people out there will go and check it out. Um, so if I am a creator, maybe an established creator who's looking for a friendly space or someone who is kind of starting out and looking um, any directions next steps if i'm that kind of listener before we talk about sort of the reader side yeah um absolutely like i said we you know we're the door is always open for pitches um we have a a submission portal on our site for pitching um we receive hundreds of pitches per week but every single one of those pitches has gone through by our editorial team um what ends up happening is the editorial team elects uh, a number of those um, to push forward to our executive committee and our executive committee meets once a week it goes through all of the pitches that have made it to that second level and then uh, we decide from that list what makes sense for us to publish um, you know there are, on occasion you know things I would say that you know any rejections or anything like that that we do are are typically based around oh we're already publishing like four other books just like that mm-hmm. or um or you know the tone of that isn't in keeping with what we're trying to do as a publisher you know things like that um but in general we're we're wildly open and we're very very um we love different so, you know, we're, we're, we're constantly trying to find those gems. Um, and uh, as far as creators go, you know, the door is open. Um, we'll be at San Diego Comic-Con this week. Myself, uh, Mike Martz, who is our editor-in-chief, uh, Chris uh, Fernandez, our publisher, um, we'll all be there. We'll awesome. all be talking to a lot of people. Um, obviously, Mike and I sort of have a, a pretty large networks, you know, um, mm-hmm. of people that we talk to. And uh, we're constantly pitching them as well. Um, awesome. You know, we want we want all of them to come work <laughs> for Mad Cave, um, to work with Mad Cave, I should say, not for. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're very, um, we're the door is always open. I guess is the best way of saying all of that. So. Awesome, love it, love it, love it. And um, so, if I'm a reader out there who is curious about. Uh, what's being published, what's on the horizon, how to connect. Uh, I'm still interested in the street team. I'm picturing myself on like a bicycle, throwing comics out at people's <laughs> doors. We'll, we'll see how this this works. Um, anything that you would share with readers out there uh, as far as how they can connect and get the titles yeah. that you're publishing? 100%. Um, you know, there's multiple ways to acquire Mad Cave titles. Um, you know, we're sold in bookstores uh, across the world. Um, you can go onto our website and you can actually download books digitally. Uh, you can download a PDF and, and subscribe to our titles as well. So you subscribe to the title, you'll get each issue as it comes out. And we'll even send you a free TPB of that series if you nice. subscribe to the series. Um, So we do a lot of things like that. Um, You know, it really depends on what type of content you're into. Mm -hmm. Um, But again, Maverick, Mad Cave, Paper Cuts, um, there's a wide variety there. 
Um, Mad Cave tends to specialize in what I like to call genre entertainment. Um, a lot of big screen, um, you know, action, uh, sci-fi, um, or uh, we have a lot of that type of material under the Mad Cave umbrella. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, whereas again, Maverick uh, tends to traffic in the coming of age space, the LGBTQ friendly space, the um uh you know diversity space but with the trappings of some genre stuff um there's there's a couple scary titles there's a couple uh fantasy based titles there's a couple sci-fi based titles so um you know really all just depends on what you're into chances are we publish it for you um you know paper cuts has a wide variety of stuff um everything from mysteries through you know um uh, through action and adventure and uh, learning books, all of that sort of thing. It's all under the paper cuts umbrella as well. Fantastic. All right. Well, I'll be sure and link the the website. And I'll also mention there are digital previews of a lot of titles on the website too. So if you look at something, if you're curious about it and you want to see more of it, I was impressed with with just how many titles you can get a downloadable preview of or first issue of to check out and and kind of engage with and uh keep connecting with so yeah yeah and and you know if you're if you're somebody who only goes to your local on wednesdays and that's all you you're going to do in terms of finding your titles ask them for mad Um, (laughs) it's really as simple as that you know most uh lcs's will order what you the customer are asking for so um you know find a book that you want and tell them tell them you want it and they'll bring it in for you Awesome things. Well, thank you so much, Mark, for taking some time to talk with me. And as I said, glad to glad to highlight Mad Cave creators and excited to explore more of what you're publishing and then see even more after that, because it sounds like the trajectory is uh, long and very creative. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we'll see you out on the uh, street team for us soon. That, that would be great. <laughs> that would be great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. Thanks.